Oh yeah, folks, here we go. What I'm going to do in this lesson is I'm going to show you how you can create a game uh, using levels. So this is something we've been doing over the last couple of days, but there's been some people kind of struggling with the concept. So I thought what I would do is create this video uh, for you so that you can get a better handle on what it is that we're doing. So everything that I'm doing is uh, provided in Google Classroom, the same spot where you got this video. And I'm just going to give you a little overview of what we're going to create here. So we're going to create a game, Alien Domination. Now this game is going to be really simple. Uh, it's not really going to be that complicated to do. It's basically a game where if the user leaves the screen, they win. So what I've got here is my first screen is the instructions. So you can see here, we've got the name of our game. So you're a member of the Glorg alien race, a species determined to take over the earth. Use your arrow keys to move your character off the screen to win. Press enter to continue. Once the user presses enter, you're going to see that we're met with a completely different screen. And there's our little alien. I've also provided this file for you in Google Classroom. And I can use the arrow keys to move it around. And what I'm going to do is move my character right off the screen. So you're going to notice he starts to get cut off. And as soon as he fully leaves the screen, bam, you win. Congratulations. Really difficult game. Now, here's the interesting part. We can press enter to play again. So if I press enter, you can actually do this again. Notice the instructions didn't come up again because we're going to assume at this point, eh, you get the idea of how to play the game. Uh, but you could obviously have them go right back to the instruction page. So whether they move off the screen to the left, to the right, or down, they win the game. So how do we make it? Let's find out. So you can either choose to type out the code from scratch or you can um, just follow along and download the code that's on Google Classroom. Now, what I've provided for you is sketch.js and the alien.png file. What you're going to need to do is create a new project the same way we always would, which is the duplicate this folder, uh, create, I called it levels example. All right. And then that normally gives you, remember, it'll give you an index.html and a sketch.js file. What you're going to have to do is take the sketch.js that I've given you from Google Classroom and just copy the code, paste it into this one so that uh, it's ready to go. And then you just have to add the alien.png file. If that was a lot of information for you, rewatch that, rewind it, pause it, do what you need to do. Uh, so that you can get through it. So just remember, take the sketch.js code that I gave you online and just copy that code off of Google Classroom and paste it into the one that you just created when you duplicated and make sure that alien.png is in the same folder. Ready? Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to essentially create three levels, not three levels to our game, three levels to our program. The first level, which we're going to call level zero, is going to be our instructions. Once the user has successfully completed that, they're allowed to see level one. Level one is going to be our actual game. And then once they've successfully completed that, they're going to be able to see level two. Level two is going to be the windscreen. Now you can make this so that level one is a really easy part. Level two gets a little bit harder. Level three, you know, maybe the enemies get faster. The ball bounces quicker. The, the obstacles get bigger, so they're harder to avoid. Um, things like that. It's really up to you, and you'll see what we're getting at here. And this is all commented when you look at the code so you can see what's happening here. So the very first thing I did was I created a variable called level, which starts off at level zero, meaning we're going to start right at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game should be the instructions. You'll see that come to life here in a second. The next thing I did was we need an X and Y for our character. Where is it located on the screen? So I created those two variables. And then the last thing I did was I created a variable that is going to store the information for our image. So nothing here really should be new except for this level. Assigning a, a, a variable or a number to level is new, but the idea of creating a variable shouldn't be new. Then created the function preload. And what I did was I assigned, so I created a variable called, or uh, we said IMG equals load image alien dot PNG. So just remember this line of code right here is going to go out, look in the same folder and get that alien.png file. If it doesn't see it there, remember that it's going to load forever and ever and ever. And make sure, again, I've got my trusty Apache server running here so that I know uh, I'm testing it through a local host, not through D drive. Remember, that will not work. Jumping back into here now, in our setup, 
What I've done here is I created a canvas. I made mine 800 by 600. You can by all means make it whatever size you want. Some of you have chosen to go full screen. I've seen a lot of you go in the uh, 1200 pixel range. Totally up to you. And then the last thing I decided was when the character pops on the screen, I want it to appear smack dab in the middle. Okay. Again, place it wherever you want to place it. So I'm saying the character won't be placed right off the bat. But when it is placed, put it right in the middle. Okay. So at this point, you might want to pause it, check the code, go through it, make sure that you understand everything up to the setup point. Rewatch this video if you have to. Type it out if you feel it, you know, you need to want to work through it as opposed to just read it. Totally up to you. When you're ready to move on, unpause the video. And if you're still watching, you didn't want to pause, or you just decided, uh, or you finished pausing. So good for you. Welcome back. So the very first thing here, remember that level was equal to zero right off the bat, meaning we want to start at level zero. Again, level zero being the instructions. So the very first thing in our draw function, remember that draw is a loop. I said, if level equals zero, this is what I want you to do. So notice the way I commented this too, to really section this off so that I can see all of this is my instruction phase. So I added a really big comment here that says instructions and then end instructions. So I can start to section off my code. Everything here is going to be part of the instructions phase. So I have, if level equals zero, which it is right off the bat, make the background zero, change my fill to 255, which is white, align my text center, make it uh, text size 32, so font 32, and then just put the words alien domination, and you'll see my X and Y values, put the words alien domination right in the middle. If that part doesn't make sense to you, jump over the P5 site, so pause this, jump over the P5 website, and make sure that you understand how text works, how it gets placed on the screen. And when you're ready to go, keep moving on. And if you're still watching, here we go. So then what I did after that gets placed, so this section of code right here will run, if I refresh my page, this part right here. It just puts the words alien domination smack dab right in the middle. Okay. The next thing we've got is I changed the text size to 16. And I put the, all of this text. You are a member of the Glorgalian race, the species determined, yada, yada, yada. This is a new one here. If you put the character slash n, so backslash n, that means put an enter. Go down to the next line. So watch the difference. If I pull this up, notice you are a member of the alien race. And at the word earth, the next line appeared right underneath. Well, look at taking over the earth taking over the earth move down to the next line that's what slash n does it won't actually print it it means move it down to the next line watch what happens if i didn't have it if i did that and i didn't use slash n lovely it doesn't seem to be updating very quickly so what i'm going to do here is let's do a if it's going to let me here and it's not because it's being mean i'm trying to do a hard reload but it doesn't seem to want to let me. So let's try and force it here. Well, I love it when things like this happen. So we'll fix that after. So that slash N will move it down to the next line. So we're just going to leave that in there. So use your arrow keys to move it. Da, 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 and I'm going to put that smack dab in the middle. Actually, no, what I did is I said, put it in the middle but add 50, sorry, to the middle of the screen. So what that means is it should be 50 pixels lower than our last text. And then I added the text, press enter to continue, which was 100 pixels away from this. So what does that mean? I added 50 to this line and 100 to this line. So if I go back here, what that means is the distance from here to here should be 50 and my distance from here all the way down to that last line should be 100. Now there's multiple different ways you could have gotten to this to work. I just added it, added pixels to make it go quicker. Okay. You can use specific coordinates. It's totally up to you. Uh, I just found that to be quick and easy for me. So now we've got 
the text on the screen. This is the part that really brings it to life. So in this section, remember that this is going to loop. So draw is going to come up and it's going to say if level equals one, it does. And it's going to start running all of this code. And then when it's done, it sees an else if, else if. So it's going to skip all of this code and go back up to the beginning of draw and run it again. And then it's going to say, does level equal zero? Yes. Do this again. Does level equal zero? You get the idea. Once the user presses enter, so if key is down enter, add one to level. So level will now become one, not zero. So draw will loop again. And it's going to say, if level equals zero. Well, it doesn't anymore. Now it equals one because we added one to it when the user pressed enter. So here's my website. If I, its level is now zero, if I press enter, it becomes one. So now it doesn't show the instructions anymore. Now it shows you your background, your image, and then it checks. Did you press the right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, down arrow? Okay. And it's going to run all of this code where level equals one, not zero anymore because we added one to it when we pressed enter. We're going to move our character around. And then in here, if level equals one, which is the main game, if X is greater than the width or X is less than zero. So if it goes off the right or the left, or y is greater than height goes off the bottom of the screen or y is less than zero which means it goes off the top of the screen take level and add one to it again which means now level will no longer be one it becomes two so that means we would end the game now this is the part where in my situation i've got it that you win so it's going to show you the win screen yay you went off the screen so in this situation, um, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to see a windscreen, but you could make it that there's more enemies. Again, it gets more difficult, whatever the case may be. So if level equals two, because you went off the screen, change the background to green, change the fill to white, put this text in the center, tell them they win, and then press enter to play again and put that 50 pixels away from you win. If the user presses enter, they want to play again, we need to reset the X and Y values and set level back to one. So remember one was the main game. So if we refresh this page, oh, now it kicks in. Notice there you go. So the, the new, the slash N is no longer there. So look at how all the text goes off the screen. So we're just going to make sure that we did put that slash N back in and we did I'm make sure it's saved. And it is. So I'm going to come back over here and I'll refresh. Okay. Well, the game's going to work regardless. There we go. So we fixed it. So level equals zero. I'm going to press enter. Level now equals one. We're able to play the game because we added one to level. Move the character, go off the screen in any direction. Boom, you win. Level now equals two because you went off the screen. Now you can press enter to play again. So if I press enter, we'll reset level back to one. And now you're playing the game again. So in our code, right down at the bottom, if key is down, enter reset the x and y watch what happens if we didn't reset x and y so i'm going to cut those out let's see how fast this refreshes this time so if i come back over here i'm going to refresh my page i'm going to press enter my character plays it's going to say press enter to play again i'll press enter and notice it keeps saying, well, you won, you won, you won, you won, no matter what, because my character is still over here somewhere. It never got reset. So every time you pressed enter, X and Y was still over here in a winning, st in a winning stage. So it keeps saying you win. So that's why in the code, we have to make sure we'll send the character back to the original place, 
reset level one, and let them play again. So you can take this code, play around with it, change some values, change some numbers, put objects in there bouncing around, make them move around, put a new level in there. Maybe make level two again. Uh, level one is really easy. There are no enemies. Level two, there are enemies. Level three, there's even they're even faster. And then level four, if you make it to level four, you win. So the question might become, well, what happens if you lose? Right now, there's no way to lose. You could have a level five, a level six, a level seven. That means when you hit that level, you lose. So if you hit an enemy, level equals seven and level seven if level equals seven would be everything about you've lost do you want to play again so hopefully that clears some things up for you this was pretty quick in 15 minutes uh, so for some of you you may have to watch this video again ask somebody else maybe they got it uh, make sure that they uh, maybe they can explain it to you and how they figured it out make sure you go through the resources uh, go through this code, read the comments, change the code if you want to make things work. And if all else fails, uh, do the best you can. And we'll certainly go over it again uh, tomorrow for any of those who had complications. Have fun. And learn lots.